the 2016 calendar of the Gwinnett County Tax Assessor. D-Day in Property Assessment Process is on April 1, 2016. If you are a first-time homeowner and taxpayer, you should be aware of the tax calendar as implemented by the Gwinnett County Tax Assessor so that you can file your returns and appeals on time as well as pay your tax bills on time. Begins in January, ends in April, the submission of property tax returns for residential and commercial property began on January 1, 2016 and will end on April 1, 2016. But you, the property owner and taxpayer, are not required to file the returns unless you fall into one of these two categories. You bought the real property in 2015 but the records of the tax assessor indicate another owner, and your subject property has either been renovated or has sustained substantial damage in 2015. In case you have to file the real property return, you can do so electronically by logging into the website of the Gwinnett County Tax Assessor. Begins in April. Starting in April, the annual notice of assessments will be issued for the residential and commercial property. You will receive the notices via U.S. Postal Service as well as viewable on Gwinnett County's website as soon as these are mailed. It must be noted that based on the changes made in House Bill 202, you may also request as an alternative means of sending your tax bills to your valid email address. You can then view your tax-related notices even when you are away from home for extended periods for any reason. You can file your property appeal based on the date set on the annual notice of assessment. This is 45 days from the mail day printed on the notice. Failure to file within the 45-day window means forfeiture of your right to file an appeal of the assessed value for the tax year. You can file your appeal online at the Gwinnett County Tax Assessor website, or you can file by mail. Begins in January, ends in December. Appraisal field visits start in January and end in December of every year. These are routine visits conducted by either the Gwinnett County appraisers or by certified appraisers contracted by the county from either LMC or Tyler Technologies. You should be able to determine that the appraisers are, indeed, authorized by the county as they have to present their valid picture identification cards and business cards, as well as use vehicles clearly marked with the county's emblem. The routine field visits for residential property only consist of visual inspections of the exteriors only. You should not allow the appraisers to enter your home's interior, not to mention that you don't have to provide them with assistance in any manner. In case you are not at home during the routine visit, the appraisers will continue with the process and leave an informational door hanger to inform you about it. For commercial property, however, some assistance will likely be required depending on the nature of the business. When you intend to file an appeal with the Gwinnett County Tax Assessor, you should hire a tax advisor for a higher chance at a winning appeal.